Today on the web, missile fire in Iran, the American blogosphere is divided over a possible U.S. intervention. The web reacts to the arrival in France of the Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad. And the day's pick of the best. Tension has moved up a notch in the Middle East after Iran test-fired several missiles in a military exercise. In the United States, those for and against American military intervention battle it out online. For many web users, it seems inevitable that the American troops invade Iran. This satirical video imagines George Bush and his vice president, Dick Cheney, actively prepare this conflict. John McCain's latest slip-up concerning killing Iranians with cigarettes has also got web users worried. His aggressiveness and warlike behavior are denounced in this online clip. But for for others, it's high time Iran and its nuclear program were attacked. This blogger appeals to the president to transfer troops in Iraq and Afghanistan to the Islamic Republic. American veterans for peace do not agree. Here, an ex-soldier encourages his compatriots to put pressure on leaders so that the United States do not enter into a new conflict. The Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad, will attend the official Bastille Day ceremonies on the 14th of July. His presence has triggered violent reactions on the international blogosphere. This Tunisian blog has published this open letter calling for President Sarkozy to intervene on the worrying human rights situation in Syria. This Syrian agrees and says that al-Assad should free political opponents instead of attending the parade at Sarkozy's side. Dissidents like this Syrian NGO publish the names on their site, amongst them the writer and activist Abib Saleh, arrested in May for the third time. The creation on Facebook of groups who are against the head of state's visit to Paris demonstrate the mobilization. This analysis moderates the argument and emphasizes the bad faith of some. It tells us that many Arab leaders with whom France maintains relations are just as guilty of infringing human rights. The new version of the Apple iPhone is finally available from today in 22 countries. For several weeks, the advert for the new version has been creating a buzz on the blogosphere. The iPhone 3G is more technologically developed than the old model with a faster connection and a stronger battery. Almost one year after the strikes, which lasted for several weeks and paralyzed the programs of the largest American television channels, Hollywood screenwriters are preparing to launch Strike.tv this summer. This online television considers itself not only as independent, but also as a showcase for up-and-coming screenwriters. I'm not going to believe this on-car thing. It's great. Hey, Daryl, it's Ted. Hey, Ted. Do you need another whore? No! No, the uh, horror... Oh. Strike TV. And don't worry, it's not illegal. It's Hollywood. Oh, 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 oh,